I am really excited about this one. Today we're talking about the four best battleships ever made. They are known as the Iowa class battleships. The Iowa class is comprised of the USS Iowa, the USS New Jersey, the famously short-tempered USS Wisconsin, and the USS Missouri, also known as Mighty Mo, where the Japanese Empire surrendered to the United States of America ending World War II. Weighing in at 45,000 tons, it's 212,000 horsepower. Yeah, we're measuring in farm animals again. Yes, I know the metric system uses horsepower, but I'm okay with it. Because do you see the three big turrets on the battleship? Those are known as the Mark 7. Those nine barrels have a maximum range of 24 miles. Not meters, not commie miles, fucking miles. And the best part, they shoot 16 inch shells. Those rounds are over 2,000 pounds a piece. Those are not freedom seeds. Those are fully mature red, white, and blue woods. I'm trying to tell you that when America starts lobbing the freedom fraction size bullets at you, you're probably going to have a bad time. That's not even all of its firepower. It's also got 10 Mark 12s that shoot 5-inch shells. It's like a freedom by the foot extravaganza. And then it's got 140 anti-aircraft guns and 52 auto cannons. It's also got the best radar system of any battleship ever, meaning it's more accurate with all that firepower. So when you combine all that firepower with the accuracy... And the fact that it's one of the fastest battleships ever made, capable of traveling 33 knots, which is almost 39 miles an hour if you don't speak seamen, you have the best battleship ever. Cue the comment section. Actually, the Japanese Yamana had bigger guns and was way bigger. It was better. Yeah, it was bigger. It was also way slower. Way less accurate. So if it was daytime and the sea was calm, maybe it could take out an Iowa-class battleship. It's a good thing we have fucking four of them. Now, the Iowa-class battleships were so scary, the enemies intentionally avoided them. Meaning that they never really got to see a whole lot of action. I mean, the USS Wisconsin only got hit once, ever, and it was fucking pissed about it. During the Korean War, the USS Wisconsin and the USS Buck were going along the North Korean coastline. Their mission was to, quote, destroy railways, tracks, and surrounding mountains. Mountains. While conducting that mission, a single North Korean artillery emplacement fired upon them. Striking one time with a 152mm round, creating a 30 by 20 inch hole in the wooden deck, causing almost no damage. At which point the USS Wisconsin turned all of its guns at the artillery emplacement and fired a full broadside attack. That is so much force that it would push the 45,000 ton ship four feet directly sideways from the recoil. Not only did they die on that hill, the hill died too. When the smoke cleared, the USS Buck sent a single radio transmission to the USS Wisconsin that said, quote, Temper, temper. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoy my content and maybe like to buy me a beer about it, there's a link for that right here in my bio. If you're not watching this on TikTok, that link should be in the video description. That is also the link for all my shirts and stickers. Until next time, thank you for your service. Quack bang out.